Savala has a new quest for me. Let's see what this is all about. Welcome to the Tower Guardian. First, you will have to locate 1000 floor drives. Then, we need to analyze the floor drives by getting precision hive kills with an exotic shotgun in heroic events on Mars while having an enhancement core up your ass. To finalize the floor drive process, you need to kill 1 million billion gazillion. When you got a quest where you have to get an ungodly number of kills in a certain fashion. These five grinding strategies has helped me do things that would have taken days in only a couple of hours, sometimes even minutes. Welcome to Gaming Watcher. My name is Rolson and in this video I'll give you 5 unique grinding tips for Destiny 2 beginners. All the strategies work wonders but especially the last one is awesome because it helps you get some of the best weapons in the game a lot faster. So stick around guys, I'll make it worth your time. Let's get into the list. Number 1. The Castellum Cabal Grind Whenever you've got a mission where you have to get Cabal kills, there is one place where you can go for endlessly spawning Cabal to slaughter. In the Leviathan Raid, there is a place called the Castellum. I'll tell you how to get there in a little bit. The Castellum is a place where you complete a puzzle to move between encounters in the Leviathan Raid. If you go there and start the Castellum encounter by finding the platform with a glowing symbol upon it and walking into it, you will hear a sound play and after that you've got endless hordes of Cabal coming at you to kill. I have done many quests and catalysts in here. It really shortens the time that it takes to do those because you can just stay here killing Cabal until it is completed. And the place is basically overflown with them. You never have to go look for them. To get there you just have to go into the Leviathan raid on Nessus and then go past the first enemies without shooting at them they won't shoot at you. Then just follow this route. If you like these Destiny beginner guides that we're making, please hit the like button on the video showing us that you like the content. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get a notification when we have the next Destiny guide or some of the other videos that we do on this channel out. And that's it guys. Just go kill some Cabal. Number 2. The Whisper Grinding Spot. This one is maybe the one that I've used the most. It requires you to access the Whisper mission, so if you have already completed that, this is very easy because it is located on the map on Io. If you haven't completed the Whisper mission, SHAME ON YOU! No, but seriously, you should really consider doing so. Anyways, you can still do this, but it will be a lot more difficult because you have to start the Whisper mission from a public event. I haven't done a guide for that yet, but I will do a complete Whisper guide, so hold on for that, guys. I'll show you how to get to the grinding spot once you're inside the Whisper mission in a little bit, but first I'll give you some tips on what it's good for. I've mainly used this for catalysts. When you have a catalyst, you usually have to get a lot of kills with a specific weapon that the catalyst is for. This place is perfect for that because there are shadow thralls spawning endlessly. Since they are very weak enemies and only take a couple of shots to kill if not just one, you can amass a lot of kills very quickly. They drop a lot of ammo of all types so you never have problems with running out and you can position yourself so they can only come from one direction. This is just the perfect conditions for mindlessly killing hundreds upon hundreds of enemies very quickly. If you have to get a lot of taken kills, this is also the place to do that. So to get to this place, you have to follow this route.
And that's it, go get those kills. Number 3. The Mars Lost Sector Radiant Seed Farm. Sometimes you have to get what is called Radiant Seeds. This is for example when you're doing frames for Ada 1 in the Black Armory to get some of the awesome weapons that is available through the Black Armory. It can take a bit of time to collect these Radiant Seeds but not if you use the strategy that I'm about to show you. This one is very simple. You go to Mars in the Glacial Drift location and you go into the Lost Sector that is nearby. Then you just run all the way through without wasting any time killing the enemies and in the last chamber you kill the final boss and he drops 10 Radiant Seeds all at once. So for one weapon from Ada 1 you need 20 and therefore only have to do this twice to get that done. Number 4. The Powerful Enemy Farm in some quests you have to kill powerful enemies. This is enemies with yellow health bars. Depending on how many you have to kill, it can take a lot of time to complete a quest step like this because powerful enemies usually are not the enemies that there is most of in a given activity. But with this strategy you can get a lot of powerful enemy kills in no time. You simply go to the Leviathan raid on Nessus. In the very place where you land, there are six powerful enemies standing guard. Guard, three on each side of the bridge or whatever that is. If you have the sleeper simulant, I recommend using that for this grinding strategy. If not, I recommend using any sword. This is usually the quickest way to kill them. So you kill the six powerful enemies and then you immediately respawn in the Leviathan once again and do it all over again. You get six kills every time and it only takes a minute so you can really get a lot of kills in no time here. Number 5. Strike and Nightfall Abandonment Tactic Yes, that's quite a name and I made it up myself. So this one is for those quests where you have to get kills inside of strikes. These quests can sometimes take a lot of time because you have to wait for matchmaking, then there are other players making kills so there's less for you to take, and then the strikes are very short so you spend a lot of time waiting to get in or out of strikes. With this strategy all of this is eliminated. Load into one strike or nightfall and complete the quest in one session. So what what you got to do is abandon the right path of the strike or nightfall and go do something completely different. For example, you could go into a lost sector or into a public event or a whole other activity. In some strikes you have access to the whole destination where the strike takes place so you can basically go and do anything on this destination while inside the strike. You don't have to complete the strike. Some strikes are very restricted in which areas you can access so this does not work for all strikes and nightfalls but you can pretty quickly find those that work for this. I will also recommend that you either do this with two friends so you are all in on what's going on. This makes sure that you don't ruin the gaming experience for someone else and also you avoid getting pulled through to where your teammates are at in the strike because you are behind. If you're going solo I recommend using regular nightfalls because there is no matchmaking for those and you can go into them solo. Just load into a nightfall and go do some activity that allows you to make a lot of kills fast. Usually grinding the same lost sector over and over again is the fastest way. The escalation protocol and the blind well are also good choices for getting kills in strikes and nightfalls. So that was my list guys, go get those kills! In the comment section to this video I would really like to hear from you what is your favorite grinding strategy or if you have used any of the strategies that I point out in this beginner guide please tell me and, and for what you use the strategy for. I'd really be excited to see what you guys have used this for and if it actually has brought you value playing the game. And as always thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.